Hey guys, my name's Yudi, and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make money on Interchange. When you load into the raid, figure out where you spawned. The order in which you do this run can vary based on your spawn. In this case, I spawned right outside of Idea. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the back room of Idea, and there is a room with a bunch of computers and tech spawns. Do watch out for scavs and other players. It's a very popular spot. This room with the double doors is the room I'm talking about. When you walk in, I recommend closing the doors. On these counter-like things, there are some tech spawns. On some of the desks, there are tech spawns. There's also computers underneath the desk. You can find flash drives in the computers as well. In this back room, you can find Tetrises and GPUs on the shelves. Very expensive products. And a lot of other miscellaneous tech spawns, like T-plugs, USBs, circuit boards, wires, etc. Now, the next place we're going to be going towards is TechLite. I'm going to demonstrate the generalized direction you need to go, and then once we get to the hallway, I will cut to tech line. Once you go up these escalators, you'll go to your left, and tech light will be down at the end of the hallway. Now once you reach the end of the hallway, you're going to walk into this room with a bunch of red lights. On all the shelves, there are tech spawns, like GPUs, Tetrises, ES lamps, CPU fans, etc. Make sure you check each and every shelf for all the loot. Once we are finished with this, we will run down to Texco, which is just below Tech Light. There's also some weapon part spawns on those crates with the burlap over it. Over here is Ultra Medical. If the power is on and you have the key, you can find Ledexes in the room. You can find meds on these shelves outside. This building just next to it also has a chance to spawn certain tech items, however, it's not very likely. Now we're going downstairs to Texco. You may see some scavs in Ollie. They happen to be quite hostile. In Texco, all the shelves can have the same loot pool, just a bunch of tech items, light bulbs, miscellaneous junk. For example, this Tetris. This is an easy way to get all your quest items like GPUs, CPU fans, and CPUs. Now we're going to be heading towards Rasmussen. Rasmussen has a weapon box on the floor, and on all the tables and shelves are the same loot pool, just a bunch of tech spawns. There was a military cable there. You can find LCDs as well. Spark plugs are useful for the therapist quest. Now we're just going to run straight over towards Mantis. Do be careful for Killa players and normal scavs. This is a very populated area. If you have Kiba key and the power is on, you can also loot Kiba. In Mantis, it's mostly medical spawns. You can check the shelves, you can check bags, all the jackets and the duffel bags. On those shelves in the back room, there's a lion spawn and some gold chain spawns. 
Obviously, you can find meds everywhere. On these shelves in this area, you can find some Saluas and cars. It's a good place if you're in need of meds. This room just across is called German. You can find the same tech loot pools as before, like this Tetris. And other things like Geiger Muller counters and gas analyzers. Now we're going to head over towards one of these rooms over here. Just across from Emercom. There's two jackets in the walkway. And in this building there are some tech spawns on these shelves, like that G-Phone. In the middle of the room there is a toolbox. In the back of it there is a duffel bag. On these shelves you can find some miscellaneous junk as well. Now we're going to start heading towards our extract. In between the power station and the Emercom exfil, there is the hole in the wall. As long as you don't have a backpack, you're allowed to extract. Thanks for watching. Please like if you enjoyed or found this helpful and subscribe for more content like this. Have a good day.